In this video, we will discuss various types of testing in SDLC. You will find minimum three questions on this concept in any CISA exam. So these are some important tests during development stage. Unit testing. It is the testing of individual program or module. Integrated testing. It is the testing for accurate flow of information for two or more system. Now, system testing includes stress test, load test, volume test, recovery test, security test and performance test. It is basically full-fledged test. Then we have acceptance testing. It includes QAT and UAT. For unit test, we need to remember three points. What are they? First one, it is testing of individual program. Second one, testing is done during development stage. And third one, white box approach is applied in unit testing and not a black box approach. So in white box, internal program logic is being verified, whereas in black box, only function testing is done. In unit testing, individual modules are tested. Here, we can verify module A even if module B and C are not yet developed. Dictionary meaning of integrate is to connect. Integrated testing involves testing of connection of two or more module or components that pass information from one area to another. Here you can see connection between modules are tested. System testing. It includes recovery test, security, load, volume, stress and performance testing. Type of system testing. In recovery testing, we test system's ability to recover after a hardware or software failure. In security testing, we test about the security measure. In load testing, we will see performance during peak hours. In volume testing, we will see system's ability to handle maximum volume of records. In stress testing, we see maximum number of concurrent users or services. In performance testing, we compare system with other equivalent system. Acceptance testing. It includes quality assurance testing and user acceptance testing. QAT focuses on technical aspects. UAT focuses on functional aspects. QAT is basically done by IS department. UAT is done by user department. Dictionary meaning of regression is act of going back or to return. Hence, in regression testing, we again check that changes or correction in a program have not introduced any new errors. However, data used for regression testing should be same as the data used in previous test. Then only objective of regression testing can be achieved. Sociability testing Dictionary meaning Ability to have companionship with other This is test to ensure that new and modified system can work in specified environment without adversely impacting existing system. Pilot testing. Here, testing is done in one location and if results are successful, then particular new system or modified system is introduced in other locations. Parallel testing. In parallel testing, comparison of result from new system is done with old system. This is done to ensure that implementation of a new system meets the user requirement. 
Now let us discuss the difference between black box and white box testing. In black box, only functionality is being tested, internal program logic not being verified. Whereas in white box testing, internal program logic is being tested. Okay, alpha and beta test. Internal user, external user. Alpha is done first, beta will be followed. Alpha may not involve full functionality testing, whereas beta generally involves testing of full functionality. Let us discuss difference between top-down approach and bottom-up approach. In bottom-up approach, testing starts with individual unit and gradually full system is tested. Whereas in top-down, broader level system will be tested and then gradually individual program or module will be tested. So advantage of bottom up will be test can be started even all the programs are not being completed and errors in critical module can be found early. Wherein in top down interface or integrate error can be detected earlier and confidence in the system is achieved earlier. Top down is more appropriate for prototype development. A prototype is a sample or model of software. Testing from border level will give confidence at earlier stage. So let us recap what we learned till now. In CISA exam, if question is about adaptability with existing system, what will your answer? Whenever existing environment adaptability should be there, answer should be sociability. Test of individual module or program, your answer should be unit. Test of internal program logic. In white box and unit test, internal program logic is tested. Test of connection of two or more system. Integration or interface testing. Test again to see the changes that have not been introduced any new error. So dictionary meaning of again is regression. Test by external user. Beta test. And internal done by alpha. Full-fledged test that includes stress, load, security, recovery and other test that will be known as system test. Test in which results of old and new system is compared in parallel testing. So a system is in development phase. Which of the following tests is most likely to be conducted? Unit test. All other tests conducted after system is developed. Which of the following approach is applied during unit test? We already discussed white box. Here test of internal program logic will be done. Unit testing indicates that individual modules are operating correctly. So IS auditor should
review the findings of the integrated test. Unit test will only be indicating the individual modules are working properly. Integrated test is needed to evaluate the full system. Testing the network of two or more systems for accurate flow of information between them is Interface testing Unit testing involves testing of individual program or module Sociability, impact of existing environment and regression testing Changes or correction in a program have not introduced any new errors. An organization is conducting regression testing for rectified bugs in the system. What data should be used for regression testing? Regression testing ensures that the changes or correction in program have not introduced any new errors. This would be achieved only if data used for regression testing are the same as data used in the previous test. Purpose of regression testing is to determine if changes have not introduced any new errors in unchanged code. This is sociability, integration test, and UAT. A new system has been added to client server environment. Which of the following tests would confirm that modification in window registry will not impact performance of the existing environment? Existing environment. So answer will be sociability testing. An organization wants to evaluate whether a new or modified system can operate in its target environment without adversely impacting other existing systems. Which of the following testing would be relevant? Sociability. Which of the following characteristics of white box testing differentiate between the white box testing and black box testing? We discussed program's internal logic being evaluated. An organization implementing a new system adopted parallel testing. Which of the following is the primary purpose of conducting parallel testing? In parallel testing, results of new system is compared with the old system to ensure that system is working as per the user requirement. For a software development, an organization has planned following test. Failure in which stage can have greatest adverse impact and cost and time. If you see, these are the stages of testing in SDLC, so unit, integrated, system and acceptance testing. So final stage will have much more impact in cost and budget. An organization is conducting system testing for newly developed software. Primary purpose of a system test is to
System test is a full-fledged test that includes load test, stress test, recovery, security and performance test. A major vulnerability was observed in an application by IS team. To mitigate the risk, a patch was applied to a significant number of modules. Which of the following tests should an IS auditor recommend? We already discussed. System test is full-fledged test that includes load, stress, recovery, security and performance test. System testing. An organization has implemented prototyping approach for development of system. Which of the following testing method is most effective during the initial phases of prototyping? A prototype is a sample or model of a software. Testing from broader level will give confidence at the earlier stage, hence top-down approach will be more relevant. In final acceptance testing, QAT and UAT were combined. Major concern will be insufficient functional testing. User will not be able to test the quality unless QAT is being completed. When creating data for testing the logic in new system, which of the following is most critical? Data design as per expected live processing. Best approach for conducting stress test in So we have test data, live data, test environment, production environment. Test data is helpful only if it covers all the scenario of live data. So best to take live data. And it's very very risky to take production environment for testing purpose. So our answer should be li using live data in test environment. An organization is implementing bottom-up approach for top software testing. An advantage in using a bottom-up against top-up approach is that test can be started even before all programs are completed and errors in critical modules can be found early. An IS auditor is reviewing process of acceptance testing. What should be the IS auditor's major concern? Your answer should be unsolved major issues as major concern for IS auditor. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time.